enough is enough. Somebody's got to speak up about this, y'all. So, you know, I don't really want to, you know, make a video about this, but America's going to shit. And somebody's got to just say something. This is ridiculous. So we're, today we're talking about, uh, you know, our this federal judge, T.S. Ellis III, who gave Paul Manafort barely four years in prison. So let's go off with just proving how much of a fucking bullshitter he is. Sorry for cursing, but I got to get my point across. Okay, so Paul... So the judge has given this Jamaican woman more time for similar crimes. I'm gonna take a screenshot so you guys it'll pull up. Let's so, let's just let's just get to the point. Paul Manafort has committed a federal crime, regardless if we're talking about anything. I don't care if he's Republican, Democrat, or whatever. He has committed a federal crime, a federal crime which has altered, which has proven to alter our democratic process. Does nobody care anymore? We have seen, forget what they've shown us about Robert Mueller. We all know, if you have been paying attention to everyday society, you know that the 2016 election was a complete fraud. It was a fraud from the beginning. Bernie Sanders should have been a Democratic candidate. We all know that. We all know that the grassroots campaigns and the people that were really paying attention and wanted a change in society wanted Bernie Sanders. I don't think he'll win this time. I think we'll have Trump president for eight years. But I just want to make the point of this. We know that Hillary stole the Democratic election. No question about that. But on the Republican side, fraudulent things happen. We know that they wanted Trump to become the Republican because they thought Hillary was going to win. The powers to be at the very last moment switched the two of them to pick who is going to be the president of the United States. I don't know what Hillary disappointed her masters, whatever, what she ever do. She couldn't, she was, she couldn't get away with all the fake body doubles. It doesn't matter. All we know is this, that election was a fraud and people need to be arrested and things need to change in this country if we're ever going to get our freedom again. Our freedom is being sucked out of us. Our freedom has been sucked out of us since the 1995 Oklahoma City bombings, where we know that was an American false flag, not a false flag. Well, yeah, it was a false flag. We know that the government did that. There's no question. They've proven time and time again. Timothy McVeigh didn't even die. When are the people going to stand up and care about our lives? Do you care about your children? Do you care about your family? Do you care? I just want to know. Are, do you want to see our society go to shit? Are we too dumb to figure out what's going on here? If we are... Please let me know in the comments below. I want to know if other people are paying attention to what I'm seeing. I don't, usually don't want to make a video on this because also I want to make a comment on the rest of these uh, political YouTubers. They, most of them are intelligence agents. Most of them are biased. Who, I don't care who you're talking about. We all know mainstream media is garbage. We know they've been garbage for the last 50 years. We, they've been garbage since Watergate. Something needs to be done, people. Something needs to change. Somebody has to stand up. We need to stand together. This isn't a thing where it's going to, we're going to get a vote a politician in. And I know we have glimmers of hope with AOC, but we cannot put all of our faith in just one what? So she can be bought by them? Is that what y'all want? So they threaten her and get bought by her? We need change. We need to stand together. They can't shoot all of us. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid of these guys. They are seriously, they're cowards themselves. That's why they're doing what they're doing. They're cowards themselves. Now, let's go. I want to get back to back on this, uh, you know, judge. So we can just expose him as most likely an intelligence agent or somebody working for the deep, dark inner circles of the government. So we'll just go to Wikipedia. This is all public knowledge. I'm going to go, I'm not going to bring out any you know, secret knowledge or act like I have something that you can't find out yourself. All this stuff is public information. We all keep, anybody can go to a courthouse and get this stuff to see how we can prove these people are biased and fraudulent. So let's just go to uh, something that should be very serious about American society. There was an espi uh, espionage scandal in 2006 where somebody working for the Department of Defense gave information to an Israeli diplomat giving American secrets to Israel. What do you think happened? Yeah, exactly. The judge 
originally sentenced him to 12 years, but it was quietly reduced to 10 months. If that doesn't ring a flag to you, I don't know what will. Why does it seem like every time something going on with Israel stealing our secrets or they get away with it, that country is dragging us down and you guys know it. So let's just go to another one. Let's just go to something else where we can truly show that he's a fraud. We're going to talk about the story of Khalid El Masari, another case in 2006. He was kidnapped by the CIA. And what did Ellis explain when he tried to, to have a lawsuit? He completely dismissed it. He explained in his brief explanation that a public trial would present a grave risk or injury to the national security. It's a lawsuit where somebody was kidnapped by the government. Think about that. They'll dismiss a lawsuit where a citizen of any place in the world and won't give them the necessary steps to make things right. This shows you that this judge is a fraud. Anybody in Virginia, I, please let me know if you're going to, how we can stand up and get rid of these people. So the next thing we're going to finally talk about is finally going to go back to Paul Manafort. Now people, they're saying, oh, he gave him a life sentence because there's going to be another judge that's going to give him a harsher sentence. I'll tell you what, y'all. Most likely that other judge is going to give him a life sentence as well. We've seen. If you just do your history on Watergate, they all got life sentences as well. This Russia thing is a distraction. I'm not saying Trump doesn't have allegiance or ties to Russia. Most other businesses in America do. America and Russia are two sides, two different sides of the same coin. We'll get to that at another time. But you can just see this judge is a fraud. This judge is compromised. This judge was appointed by Ronald Reagan, known famously if you watch the boondocks as the devil, which he was. Look what he did to our African Americans in America. So I just want to, sorry for the long ramble, y'all. I just needed to get this off my chest. I just needed to say something, something in this. We're literally seeing our country burn to the ground. I was just reading this news and I was just shook him with anger. I hope this... I hope we can I hope I can have a discussion with somebody who cares as well. Please let me know how you feel in the comments below and I'll definitely respond to all of them. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Stay up. Keep gaining that knowledge. And do not let them fool you with their fake stunts.